Well, hello again YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today, I'm showing you my tugs and Theodore tugboat toys today. So, let's have a look. So here are the tugs models, because tugs is what I'm more familiar with. So here's the only two tugboat characters you can get from tugs. Here's Ten Cents, number one of the Starfleet, the first switcher. So his name on the front of the hull is chimney and his head is made of plastic as so is the inner body but the hull is metal put this in water and it won't really float however you could if you got a small trolley or something or a set of wheels to stick underneath you could probably make it look like he's actually in water You can move his head side to side. These are the only pieces of Tug's merchandise I'm able to acquire. I got both of these, Ten Cent and Sunshine, on eBay. So here's Ten Cent, and then here's Sunshine, number seven. Now I know I got these two from two different eBay sellers, but Sunshine I would say is in better shape than Ten Cent. Um, I would say Sunshine's hardly been touched, judging by his lack of, you know, use, like lack of edge wear, which is alright. I like having toys, you know, that come through like new. Sometimes, I've, you know, I'm picky when it comes to I'm getting toys that are damaged, unless I need parts from them, you'd be surprised. So again, like 10 cents, the inner hull is, or the outer bit of it is made of metal, the inner bit is plastic. It's screwed together and underneath it's licensed Ertl. And it says USA, which is odd because I know the Tug show takes place in America and yet the characters have British accents. Oh, and like 10 cents, Sunshine's head moves side to side it's weird I couldn't I haven't tried putting people on them I probably could do that though now you probably have seen this set up here before now this is a custom harbour that I've made using cardboard the, what the blue is just blue paper and this harbour area is just um, bits from a, like a washing machine box or something. And I thought I'll use that instead of letting it go to the bin. Now let's have a look at the Theodore Tugboat characters that I've acquired. Now if you remember, in Christmas 2019 I got two of the tug Theodore Tugboat characters. And this is one of them I've got. Theodore. Um, Theodore, he's. I would say one thing I like about the Theodore tugboat diecast toys is they've got wheels underneath and they roll. Which I wish was the case with the Tugs models. But it's not, unfortunately. So here's Theodore. I got him for. Christmas in 2019 along with Foduck which I was not on my wish list but still a great addition to my I might even use these in the background of a Thomas the Tank story like if I'm at the harbour and here's Hank now I got Hank at a steam rally and I went to one of these stalls and he was there in a box along with um, one, another one I'll get to in a bit. So here's Hank. One thing I've always wondered is, is Thomas the Tank Engine and Tugs set in the same universe? Now I doubt Theodore Tugboat will be, because 
it's not directed by David Mitten and no props from Tug, you know, Tugboat that I know of can appear, has appeared in the background of Thomas. Now, one thing I should say is these models are a bit, well, these toys are quite dirty or dusty because I've had them on, on display. Now, here's the other one, um, George. I bought him from a car boot sale. He was one that stood out. I did see him again in the box, but I thought, no, I've got him already, so I don't really need him on. I just, like, you know, at least he's in one piece, and that's what matters. Now, here's the other one. Bodok. Bigger one. And he has, he has a red hat, just like Theodore. But, so you don't mistaken, they've got their names on their front. And I got him for Christmas along in 2019, along with Theodore, if you watch that video. If you can't find it, I'll put a link. But let me know in the comments, you know, what Theodore Tugboat or Tugs merchandise you'd like me to buy. If I can, I'll grab my hands on it. So here's photo. Now, let's have a look at the last but not least one. That's Carla. Now, you may notice Carla has a bit of a um, yellow tint on her top. And the reason is because she's been on... Or is because she's been on my... Or he, I'm not sure if this is a boy or a girl. Comment down below. But this one's been on display on my windowsill. Along with Hank. So, and I know if I know now that if you leave stuff in the sun too long, they fade. So, yeah. If you one thing you should learn from me is leaving toys in the sun too long can take away their colour. And I, once again, I got her at a Steam Rally along with, or him or her from a Steam Rally along with Hank. Now, that's all. The Fiora Tugboat and Tug models I've got, as well as my custom harbour that I've made. Only if you haven't noticed in the background, I've got a canal, Sodor Canal boat, just like, which looks like the one from Rosie and Jim, if anyone's ever watched that. And another, I got, this is a, another barge, another sailboat, and of course in the background I thought I'd just add a modern day underwater Lotus Esprit from James Bond and of course if you have got a crane with crates of fish so anyways that's all for this video thank you all so much for watching and take care cheers everybody